Hillary just tried to take over as president on Halloween with insane desperation move, no coming back. Hillary Clinton has had an extremely tough time coping with her loss to Donald Trump, where she constantly goes around whining on television and blaming others for why she didn't win. To manage her disappointment of not being president, those close to Hillary says she drinks an ungodly amount of liquor, where she drowned away her sorrows for months following election night by hammering back cocktails and popping Xanax pills. But slamming booze and popping pills aren't enough of a coping mechanism for Hillary apparently. Her latest way to deal is to live in a complete fantasy world, where she did in fact become president back on November 8, 2016 as evidenced by the latest embarrassing thing she was caught doing, proving that this woman is seriously a moon but in need of a padded cell and a tranquilizer dart to straight the ass. If there's one thing Hillary is a pro at besides getting away with killing people who piss her off, it's her incredible ability to make a complete fool out of herself. One shining example of this was last year on her birthday before the election, where Hillary was so sure she had the future presidency in the bag, that she tweeted a birthday shutout to herself congratulating the future president of the United States for turning one year older. But being the professional moron that she is, Hillary wasn't about to be outdone by her past antics. Now Hillary has upped the ante of her personal craziness, where she's now decided to literally take over president on Halloween, proclaiming that this year she is going as the president of the United States. Defeated 2016 Democratic Party presidential nominee Hillary Clinton said Monday night she'll go as the president for Halloween tomorrow night. Clinton made the remark at a paid appearance promoting her campaign memoir, What Happened, at the Auditorium Theater and the Loop at Roosevelt University, the Gateway Pundit reported. Dream on, Hillary. The only future leader you'll ever be is perhaps in charge of the prison block you are assigned to after you go down for treason against the United States. Over the past week, a massive scandal of historic proportions just bust blown wide open involving Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. We learned of Hillary's blatant acts of treason against the United States while she was Obama's Secretary of State where she transferred 20% of the United States uranium to Russian mining companies in exchange for a $145 million donation to her Clinton Foundation. Living in a fantasy world following the election has been common practice not only for Hillary, but among her supporters as well. Since Hillary's loss, her supporters have created a fake website where they can live in an alternate reality of what life would have been like had Hillary won. On HillaryBeatTrump.org Hillary zombies can go online and read articles all about President Hillary Clinton, with bizarre headlines about her accomplishments as the first woman president. Via the Daily Caller Approval ratings for President Clinton hit 89%, confused by fake news, Redditors think Trump is president and DOJ considers charging Trump with treason are just a few headlines featured on HillaryBeatTrump.org a satirical news site devoted to covering stories from an alternate universe where Hillary won last November's election. In the midst of a constitutional crisis, this is our response, the site's description reads. Long live the true president, Hillary Rodham Clinton. It will be interesting to see how Hillary copes once she learns she'll be spending the rest of her life in prison. We learned last week that an FBI official who had a gag order placed against him while serving under Obama will be testifying against both Hillary and Obama about the Uranium One scandal, that many are labeling as the scandal of the decade. Decade. 